Hallo, guten Abend, hello, good evening, buonasera. Ähm, zweite Runde, zweiter Tag, Summer School, Webmaster Class. And it's a pleasure to introduce my dear friend, colleague. We have met each other since many, many years on competitions. It's Lorenzo Donati from uh, Trento, from uh, the University of Music of Trento today. He's here and will work uh, with two conductors on a piece he wrote by himself, because you must know he is also a very famous composer for choral music. First, Lorenzo, welcome and thank you that you can be here. And you will uh, give us some information about your composition. And then after that, uh, you can start by yourself with the two um, conductors working with them. So enjoy and see you later. Thank you. Thank you, Georg. I'm very happy and uh, I want to thank Mr. Georg Grün to uh, invite me for this uh, masterclass, for this seminar. Um, good evening to all the participants in, uh, in presence and all the other people maybe online. Um, some info about me, um, I can share some uh, website. Uh, if you want to have other info about me, there are a website uh, special for the um, composition. The uh, address is uh, lorenzodonaticompositions.com and uh, there are another, but, uh, but it's, it's uh, for the composition, it's very good. This, with uh, a lot of my composition uh, in this website, you can press, for example, uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, for instrument, um, orchestra or choir, for example, if we want to uh, look for the um, uh, Magnificat is on the Marian, Marian Motets, we can jump on this page. And normally, if I have a um, good um, video by YouTube, there are a video, one or two videos, there are the score in the um, a PDF file, and all in this website is free, a free download. For example, this is the Magnificat, there are some info about the Magnificat, very simple infos about uh, um, the, the number of voices, uh, the text, uh, uh, or for example, the, um, the if I wrote this music for someone, in this case it's for the music, music gymnasium chamber choir and Gary Graden, uh, the premiere, if there are one premiere, and uh, the difficult uh, level. Uh, I, I look for this, uh, and you can uh, try these some simple infos. In some files, in some composition, I give also some helps. For example, uh, in some in some cases there are uh, the um, uh, I record with some friends uh, the the um, uh, parts for the singer to to study or to teach the the singular parts of singers, uh, and you can uh, look for this in my website. I'm composer and conductor. I'm composer and conductor, and I study in um, in Italy. With um, in Florence, in uh, in uh, Siena, in Academia Chigiana in Siena, and in other parts of Italy, composition. Um, and I study also. I studied also violin and comp and uh, conducting. Um, for conducting, I studied in um, in a very important academy in Italy, in Arezzo. I'm very lucky because it's my city. There are this foundation for choral music. In this foundation for choral music, I met a lot of time uh, Georg Grün and other great musicians because this city, this foundation for choral music organized from uh, uh, every year a uh, um, very important festival and competition, the Guido, the Polyphonico Guido d'Arezzo competition 
uh, next year is 70 anniversary of this international competition is one of the um, uh, older of the of the world is one of the most important uh, uh, competition and there are also school for conductors and uh, I studied uh, conducting with um, uh, Gary Graydon and uh, Diego Fazolis and other uh, conductors like uh, Carl Exit, Peter Neumann in, uh, in Arezzo in this school. And uh, when I um, start to, to study conducting, also uh, I start to study uh, composition. And after this, I mix my passion and uh, I start around 96 to compose not only for choir, but uh, the, a lot of compositions for, by, my, by me uh, is for choir, it's for female children uh, mixed for different kind of choirs, professional or uh, very, very beginner choir. I like so much to, um, to write for the voice because, because I, uh, I like so much the sound of the voices, the sound of the choir and um, and also, I, um, I have a lot of experience of contemporary music. I conduct a lot of contemporary music. And I, I try to take some good ideas from this kind of uh, new music. For example, uh, in this period, uh, in when I started uh, to, to study and to compose, I'm very um, interesting to listen and compose in the minimalistic style not in the Nordic minimalistic like Arvo or or, or um, uh, Velio Tormis or maybe uh, like uh, Ulma Sisask, but in the style of American uh, hard uh, uh, minimalistic style, for example, Steve Reich or Terry Riley. And some composition in this period um, uh, are in this direction, are, are very, very, um, strong in the direction of minimal, and I can I can show for you a video if um, Mauro can uh, show this video is Joy. Uh, this is one of my first composition. It's very big for six voices, and um, is for um, six voices. The text is of medieval poet of uh, Italy is a guittone and it's very particular text. Joy is joy. Joy is a name in Italy. Um, uh, and uh, the tra the, if I want to translate in English, it's joy. It's a very interesting, this, uh, um, this connection with the two language. Uh, I don't know, Mauro, if it's possible to hearing the, this file. Okay, if you listen, uh, this is the start of the composition. It's only the, the intro. And I use this. You can stop, thank you. Um, I, I'm very happy to, um, to look for this kind of harmony in this period, um, to the repetition, the pattern, and uh, and I want to use not a lot of um, pitch, but uh, not twelve, but three or or two or five. And normally there are one. Uh, I fix one pedal, not in, in the low in the low register like uh, like uh, for example um, John Tavener, but like other 
composer. Um, I, 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 I'm very interested to, to put a, a pedal in the middle of the of the um, um, for this reason I want to show of the first this composition because it's very interesting for me to in 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 this period in around 97 98 uh, to um, to look for for this kind of harmony the symmetrical harmony and uh, after this, uh, and in the same period of this uh, um, kind of composition, I start also this Magnificat. All this music is connected with my experience of, um, with uh, um, Mr. Gary Graydon, because I start to study composition in the classical contemporary style, very uh, complex style for choirs. When I started to study with Gary Graydon, and when I was in Stockholm to look uh, the the choral life in Sweden, in Sweden, um, I I look and understand a new and different vision of compositions, and uh, and uh, I decided to try to to take uh, some part of my performance some part of my uh, normal um, knowledge about composition, but also to receive from this part of Europe, this part of uh, choral world, some um, suggestion to, uh, to try to look for an, an, another style of me. And I start to, to, to work uh, with this um, this uh, uh, vision. One of this new new technique for me is the to use, like in this case, one pedal in the middle of the voices. For example, in this first first part of Magnificat is the uh, E, the Mi, uh, and, and the second one is to use the symmetrical process of the harmony. If I play, this is... We have the same process. And after this, I can um, show the same system or, used by uh, John Tavener in the Lamb. And uh, I'm, I add to these two um, musical um, um, system, I add another, um, another things uh, to add the sound, the, the color of the vowels and the color of the harmony. If you look the, the um, vowels under the the music there are a e e a magnificat and if you uh, look the harmony you you can see when the choir sing a is the me e the vowels is a and when I, they come back to a they come back to the same pitch. When they sing E, they have this three pitch. This is symmetrical um, process, and also they have the same color every time. When in the first part they sing the vowel E, they have the same uh, the same. Uh, um, Harmony. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now I show another part of, of this uh, system. For example, bar five is the same A, and I have me. When they go to E, they have. When they have anima, when they sing 
MEA, we have a new vowel, and in MEA, there are new chord. And for example, also in this case, you can look a symmetrical movement of the alto and first soprano, and the E, the pedal, continue to the second sopranos. This is the system. And uh, in this first part of Magnificat, it's very slow, and I work like uh, uh, an intro. When, when, for example, like a, uh, in ancient music, when we sing uh, Palestrina Magnificat or Orlando di Lasso or, or uh, Victoria, there are Magnificat anima mea dominum. And this is the same. Uh, it's out of the music, out of the of the process. It's only to to start this Magnificat and the, the rhythm, the the very um, rhythmical section for all the rest of the of the composition start in measure twelve with this. When the system is the same, but the rhythm is very different. You can look the same system the same strategy of the harmony okay for example it x we have two a and the the chord is the same it, um, when they sing u it takes sul we change in in the a it exulta, they, the singer sing E, me. And when they sing Vit, they sing Mi Fa. In all part of this uh, composition, I use this uh, technique. Uh, I connect some part of my knowledge of my study of composition, classical contemporary composition, with the, the um, diatonic, uh, uh, diatonic uh, um, influence of the Swedish music, Nordic music, and uh, some of my uh, new um, ideas. For example, to connect vowels and chord. This. It's, uh, I started to use this before this composition for another choir, and now I change for, another, for only one second my um, file. Sorry, this is yeah. For example, this is my first experiment. Uh, for one of my choirs, very amateur choir, and um, th these singers, they they don't read music. And uh, when I wrote this uh, Missa Brevis, I decided to teach um, with this composition to teach some very simple um, instrument to read music. For example, I decided to use the very simple rhythm, only one or four or uh, yeah or two. They use only this kind of rhythm, and uh, the another another solution to help the singer is to repeat the same pattern in different. Uh, position, but the same pattern for a lot of time. And the other things is to uh, to have each time when I sing E, sorry, when I sing E, there are the La bemol, A flat, one, and, and the, the rhythm is one. When they sing A, they have 
G, the sopranos, the, they sing G, and the number is four. Kyrie. Stop. I repeat. Kyrie. Each time when they have E, the, the, the uh, rhythm is four, eight. Okay, uh, I, I, I try to use this system in this first part of my, of my um, uh, experience of composition. And I use the same in the, in the, um, in the Magnificat, but with a, a very, very different level of, uh, of uh, virtuosity, because this for the rhythm and for the intonation is much more complex, okay? All these compositions have this kind of, of uh, technique. For example, all the first part have the E in the middle, and this is the pedal. And the, the rules of the other voices is the same. The rhythm is uh, free. I, I have no rules to decide the rhythm. It's my vision of the rhythm. But for the other um, uh, things, I decide to, to, to use this system. The harmony is given by the uh, vowels and, uh, and, uh, and the rhythm is free. Okay, this is the last part of this first part of, the, of this motet. Finish with the parlato, with spoken and after whispering. Okay, and after the, the, the pedal change, and go to the altos. Okay, and it's not this, but but the system is the same. When I start, I start with the unison. The first vowel is in unison. In this case, the E is quia. The E is the first, the E is unison. Okay. And, uh, oh, sorry. And for all this first part, the second part, the, the, vo the voices are sopranos, second, altos, and tenor. And they sing very, uh, in very close. They sing, they have a lot of unison and, up and, and uh, after they open, but the most um, big um, distance is four. It's very close system because I want to, to add during the, the process also the, 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 the pitch. This is the last part of this second with uh, um, another, a new, uh, a new melody. This new melody is, is a progeny is, is very uh, is a free melody without uh, without uh, any rules, but but uh, you can uh, listen this kind of melody see very similar in the last part. Every time when I use a new melody, it's the same. I don't want to uh, create new melody um, uh, every time, but uh, we need and I want to use uh, a very little material not lo a lot of uh, pitch and melodies and uh, ideas but uh, no uh, uh, i want to be very synthetic when i when i write music and uh, also in this case there are uh, speak spoken voices and uh, whispering uh, finish the second part and change the pedal to c sharp of the alto and go to the a the la to the to the tenor and also we restart with the unison for example in this case you you can look the the system we have fetch it the e when we have the e in the score in the in the text we have always the same chord. 
Okay, when we have the A, is this, when we have the O, I have Fa maggiore, F major, when we have the A, uh, there are F sharp minor. I forgot this. And when we have the U, there are this. I forgot another is this, the A. Uh. This is very simple to, to understand the, the, not the style, but the technique to decide the, the harmony. Uh, it's not decision by the composer. The composer de decides in this case only the system and the text is connected with, with the, in relation with, with the system and it's the text to decide uh, the, the um, relation until different harmony the connection okay uh, okay now we cut all this i change another time the 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 score and i want to show you uh, one very famous composition by arvo pert when i study this composition, I'm, I'm very uh, enthusiastic and interested to, to look the technique of Arvo Pert. And um, uh, Arvo Pert uh, have also, um, he use a lot of uh, pedal, not like uh, John Tavener. John Tavener normally use the, the pedal, uh, uses the, the pedal in the, in the low part of the basses. Uh, and Arvo Pert, in the first part of uh, his life, uh, he used the, the pedal, uh, for example, here is the Do, is the C. But also, we can look the pedal in the middle of the, the section, for example, we can have one F, one Fa in each bar. And this is very interesting to, to for me, it's very interesting to um, look for a technique um, different to, to Arvo Pert, but with the same system uh, and with the system of, of the, the polar, polar harmony. I use the, he used the modal harmony. I, I like to, to use the um, not very tonal system, but uh, uh, this uh, uh, symmetrical harmony is very interesting for me because uh, it's not tonal, but, uh, but it's not very far to the tonality. And, uh, and, uh, and I also, I'm very happy to, to, um, um, to look for, for us and our, for the composer and conductor to, to have a one uh, saint like Arvo Pert is, is, a, is, a, is an incredible composer. He changed our, our, our system, our life. And, but also he used a lot of system very precise to decide the, the pitch and the duration. For example, in this case, in this um, composition, he decided to use, for example, uh, for the accent uh, three and four and three and four uh, and uh, if you if you are not, um, study this music you can look four three four three four is another another very interesting decision by uh, taken by by Avopert is to give only one when the syllable is not act with accent. And this is very interesting because it's not the decision, it's the, 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 the decision of the composer is 
to to build a system to to create to to organize a system but uh, after this they give the the they put the, the text in this system and the text decide the result and this is very interesting for the contemporary uh, music i when i wrote magnificat uh, i i tried to i tried to to work in this way in this um, vision like uh, arvo per the other uh, point of, of my uh, vision is the um, uh, the style not of Tavener. Tavener is uh, one of the composers to use this uh, system, but uh, it's very interesting uh, uh, the mirror um, system, like uh, like uh, um, Anton Weber or other composer of serial music. For example, in this pieces by by John Taverner, you can look the symmetrical harmony and symmetrical melody, and this is another kind of um, composer, another kind of or technique, very interesting, to have one polar uh, pitch, but with uh, uh, no very um, the di diatonic, di but also chromatic uh, process to have polar without tonality, polar without a chord. And this is very interesting. Maybe you know this. And after. This system by used by John Taverner is chromatic. In my uh, Magnificat, this, the system is similar, but it's diatonic. For example, um, he decided to use B flat and, and um, sorry, E flat and um, B natural, uh, because he used measure third up and measure third down. In my, in my system, it's more simple to sing because I want to create some uh, very um, comfort chord, and I decide to use, for example, minor third up and major third down, uh, major third up and minor third down in this season. It's different. The 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 sound is very different because. Uh, in the, with the, the diatonic uh, uh, system and not chromatic, we have no um, very complex um, pitch like this. Uh, B flat, E flat, sorry, A flat when and F sharp. Uh, you can look in my uh, composition. For example, we when we okay. For example, in this part, if we look this part, in in the in the chromatic um, symmetrical. I need to, if in this point there are one half tone, I need to use half tone also in this other part. And the harmony is totally different. Okay, for, for this reason, I decided to, uh, to use the pedal and not the chromatic symmetrical harmony, but Diatonic symmetrical harmony. Uh, I want to finish this um, uh, presentation, uh, and I want to to show for you and listen uh, other composition of my uh, of my production. I I have uh, a lot of music connected with the with the ancient music also. For example, you can listen uh, the Sicu Cervus. Maybe Mauro, you can. Give this Sigurd Cervus 
you can look a, a lot of uh, performance by YouTube because a lot of choirs perform this composition. very quiet i don't know if you can listen but uh, this is very interesting for me to to share with you the idea to use some element of uh, uh, ancient music uh, this is one of my um, um, my i don't know if best production of, of the last, this last year but uh, i i like so much to use in this moment to use uh, uh, part of uh, ancient motets or madrigal. For example, another composition is Nuper Rosarum Flores, uh, performed by Gary Graden in, uh, in Florence. Uh, this is a, a title of a motet of uh, Dur, um, Dufay. And uh, I use the, the motets in the first part, like uh, Sven David Samstrong with uh, um, Hear My Prayer by Parcel. I used uh, the, um, the Dufay motet and after I changed, changed uh, and uh, add another text by Tagore. Uh, in this case, for example, in this Sigur Cervos, um, in the middle of, of the first part, uh, the two of the four choirs started to sing Sicu Cervus by Palestrina and the other singer um, take the, some melody of Palestrina and, um, and they share this melody and the, the piece uh, change. And um, maybe we can finish with another uh, uh, composition, not Nuper Salum Flores, but uh, Canticum Canticorum performed by, by my vocal ensemble, Ut. Uh, in this case, is um, uh, for a project of uh, Canticum, Canticorum, Song of Songs of Sa Salomon. And uh, I'm very interested in this last year uh, about the Song of Songs and this connection until the sacred and profane music, uh, the madrigal, a spiritual madrigal and uh, and uh, the love in the two different vision erotic or the love of god or uh, and uh, is this text uh, the song of songs is is incredible beautiful and uh, i compose a lot of music of, of this text maybe we can listen the first part of this
in, in my in my style also now um, continue to 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 stay some minimal vision some minimal technique you, technique of minimal music um, and also sometimes I use a lot of uh, system to connect the vowels to the harmony uh, but this depends of different uh, text different style and different choir uh, now we can listen uh, the vision of this magnificent conducted by two conductors and uh, thank you so much to study this music because i perform it only in a competition with my uh, um, vox Ford in my city choir in the competition of montreux uh, and it's not very simple to sing this magnificent thank you to study it, and thank you to uh, georg and uh, all the assistant to study this music Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Hello, dear Mr. Donanti. It's my honor to hear from your pre presentation, your work, and your composition ideas. It's, um, I feel that very interesting. And I am Jiang Pan from China. Now I study core conducting with Herr Grün, a uh, concert examen. And uh, so now, can I work with the choir? Start from bar 12.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Do you want to give some? Uh, you can work with the choir if you want. If, if you want to give some suggestion about this performance, and after maybe I can continue. Mm -hmm. um, uh, for example, uh, at first I would like to take from uh, Amen the last part of. I think this is very like festival. Am I right? I yeah, think yeah, it's sure. Just like uh, yeah. Excuse yeah, the, the only thing is uh, maybe you can, if you take your energy, uh, uh, you have a lot of energy uh, when you conduct and you have a lot of energy when you conduct uh, um, some forte before this Amen, mm -hmm. but maybe you need to, to um, use uh, um, not all your space in front of you before this because if if you use this space before this part you have no space to 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 have more energy in the last part i think it is very important uh, normally uh, I, I, know, I don't know if you can see me yes please. Yeah. Um, if you use maybe this part of your um, um, box when you conduct and after maybe in another place you can add this another place you can add this and after maybe you can add all this part if you use this part also in Gloria Patri et Filio you have no um, space to give more energy uh. Uh, in the final. Maybe you can con you can use maybe um, the same space, but maybe with only one end. Gloria part or with two ends, but in in uh, a box not very large. Gloria Patri et and and after in the last part, ya ra ra di ra 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 di ra 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 di. I yeah. think it's very important. To... Okay, uh, can I try from Gloria a uh, Gloria sure. Patri? Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Ninety nine. I think it is better, yeah. and and also if you want to um, charge the energy before the ya ra ra ra, you can use this part. I can share the the score with you. Mm -hmm. um, you can use this. Uh, oh. Okay, sorry. Yeah, this uh, secula seculorum. Mm -hmm. You can use this um, part to to uh, to go to the F the fortissimo mm. uh, and not to um, uh, you, you can restart uh, from this forte and after go 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 to this uh, mm -hmm. uh, in this uh, way. Um, oh, sorry. Without, uh, uh, not not legato, but, but uh, all the energy of it in secula seculorum. We can okay. try of this. Okay. Okay. Can, yeah. Can can I start from uh, one one one? 
et semper et in. I think the amen, three amen, I, we need to get very straight, not to uh, schleppen, nicht schleppen. Amen. Uh, and uh, you, you, it's better for you to feel the small uh, pulse of the, this very festival music because I want to go straight to the end. So if you, you do the, a little bit retardando before the end, I, I think it will be an energy lose, energy lost. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Am I right? I think it is good. It is good. And, and also the other thing is, um, in some cases, it's not simple, I know, to to continue to have the feel, the feeling with the, with the rhythm and the text. Sometimes the choir want to uh, re to be um, to to have more time to to take breath or to relax, but we we are the conductor. We need to not to stress, but to be um, before to 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 show before all, all the movement. And I think this this is correct. For example, when the when you show um, the the maid was a feci potentia mimbra. This this is correct. Uh, maybe we can repeat this part. Yeah. Uh, the, the other things is about the choir. Uh, I think it's not simple. Um, when I study with my choir, uh, we lose a lot of time. We lose maybe, but we invest a lot of time to to change for for the, uh, uh, for example. <laughs> Because at, at piano it's simple, but for the voice it's very difficult. Right. I know, and and sometimes we we lose or we 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 don't con we have no control of the of the uh, chromatic p passage. For example, -ra 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 this is not simple. <laughs> for this reason, sometimes we need to 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 sing with more articulation for the first time for the first step of the studying of this composition mm -hmm. and i prefer to sing legato but maybe if you want you can sing for now when you study uh, uh, not staccato but with a good articulation to have a, a precise uh, intonation but maybe you can uh, you can you can perform from uh, feci potenza maybe from uh, uh, 59 or maybe before 56 if you want. Okay, I would like to take 56 together. Button here, you are phone. <laughs> You're wrong. Uh, can I can I start with uh, bar seventy one? Maybe uh, sorry. Um, it's it's interesting. So shape it. Um, it's uh, uh, eighty two. Uh, Maybe you can you can give not this uh, because uh, they need to have a one so shape. 
Uh, Maybe also this is good. This is very interesting to the sound for to have a very good sound. But maybe they need also. I don't know if you can look because the connection maybe is not very good. But okay. they need also to jump. Mm -hmm. More direct, more street. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I would like to try from seventy nine. From seventy. Is it? Great, very, very good, very good. If you want to help the sopranos in the, for the intonation in the last part, mm -hmm. maybe you you need to uh, have this energy with the male and the, con and the alto voices, but maybe you can have this energy and show, uh, for example, not in this direction, but maybe. Because you can you can take your energy and uh, give the accent, but in this direction, amen, and show for the sopranos this. Because in this moment, the sopranos when, when they sing it, ya da di da 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 da, they lose a little the intonation. <laughs> because you press a little, uh, um, the, 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 you want a great sound of male voices, and you, and you press the sound. Yeah. But maybe this is correct for the men, but it maybe it's not very good for, for the female, for the sopranos. And maybe if you, you can take your energy in the mm -hmm. same way, mm -hmm. but in different direction, not to go uh, to press, but, but to sustain. Amen. Oh. Amen. And this help, this um, kind of uh, movement help the intonation of the sopranos. Mm -hmm. Maybe the last time the, the Amen. Okay. <laughs> this time is too much, but this is good. This is very good. The, it, it, it's too much, but it's very good because you you can you are, you have in your hands the intonation of the choir. You can help, or you can give bad info. But you have a lot of of energy and inf good information. Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Leiu. I come from Estonia. And uh, I also wanted to thank you for this wonderful insight uh, to this composition with so many details and uh, nuances. Thank you. 
Okay, uh, shall we start? I would like to go uh, from the same place, uh, which will be bar 12. Thank you so much. Very, very good. And um, uh, I, I, I'm, I have no possibility to listen to all the nuance, all the color of the voices. Uh, but uh, I'm, I think it's, it's correct. And also, I think uh, the, it's very precise, the performance. I see. Very, very, very precise. Maybe in some case, you can be. Uh, uh, more energetic in some start. Uh, there are some points where you 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 control uh, very well the sound. You don't want to 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 stress too much the, the sound of the, the, the choir. But in some time they need more more, more energy on the start. Uh, maybe you can you can use. Uh, this is very good. The position is very correct. But sometimes you can use also before the last part some movement more large to, to give it with a, with a, a very uh, simple movement and very relaxed but you can have mm. to um, to give more relaxed 
of this part of the singer, because this composition, like uh, a lot of uh, very rhythmical compositions, have uh, give some stress in the sustain in the diaphragm. <laughs> Of, or da, di, da, da, di, da, da. and sometimes if we control too much, uh, they they uh, change the position of the 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 true the the larynx and they go to sing very high uh, 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 okay. cheap. and sometimes we need to to give more uh, large movement to to to. Um, show some relaxed relaxed position of the voice fetchi potentia mean no fetchi poten because when i when i uh, give very precise movement for the for the singer sometimes is they control the the, the sound and they use a very short um, position and sometimes the sound is uh, very brilliant, very precise, but uh, intention is not very mm -hmm. relaxed. Maybe you can you can give some point, maybe some start with more large uh, movement, more relaxed, mm -hmm. because you are very precise, but you you can uh, add some uh, energy uh, in uh, in this direction. Okay. But um, maybe the same spot in 59, what that was this fetch it? Maybe yeah. the same we can try from the. Thing. Yeah, for example, yeah. Uh, dispersi superbus. Uh, you, you start from fetch it and yeah. uh, be careful for fetch it potentium because you are very, very beautiful uh, movement uh, and uh, you can you show a very good um, uh, movement at uh, 68 um this is very good mm -hmm. and uh, but maybe when you have a uh, dispersi super boss mente maybe you can you can show uh with the more relaxed movement not uh, not only control mm -hmm. okay you need to control but flexible it's, it's difficult but uh okay i see 59 I think for the sound, I, I, I'm in my my computer. Uh, it's not simple to listen the sound of the choir, but I I, I think it's much much better for the sound of uh, for the voices, and also uh, during during a concert, if you perform maybe this this composition, it's very important to um, to use this kind of style of conducting, because if this is uh, in the last part of the of the uh, concert, mm -hmm. um, maybe they are tired and they can sustain uh, the stress of, of the um, very strict and precise movement. And also, if the are on the first part, for example, in the first part of the concert, they need to to sing in a very beautiful with a very beautiful technique to mm -hmm. don't. 
be tired after this composition because uh, for for some voices uh, for example the the alto they sing from the start to the, they sing always uh, and, and maybe they sing in very low register if they stress too much the voice mm -hmm. we, we we lose maybe this voice for the other part of the concert but this this movement now are, are very very good because it's a, with the um, very is precise and warm and uh, and you smile and this is very important for the singer when you sing also the some syllable but also it's very important to to smile in when they are, they have a very difficult moment very difficult part it's very important to show oh wow yeah, yeah, very yeah. beautiful this is very important for the sound okay yeah the the so the sound here like changed uh, a lot so <laughs> this is yeah, uh, yeah because, I said, because sometimes when when, uh, when we uh, look um, composition with a lot of rhythm we are conductor and we think my job is give the time uh, mm -hmm. I, I give show the the the, the movement and uh, show very well this this is our job first but the second one is and this is very important is also to show the energy and to show the um, vocal technique and the, to show in our and in our uh, eyes and face the the color of the voice and the tension of the body. Um, sometimes we we show very precise movement, but we are in tension and we we give this message to the singer and they sing a. Uh, precise, but um, but not so relaxed. Uh, we need to to invest uh, part of our um, study to to um, not to change, but to be precise and happy. Not only precise. Sometimes we are precise, but not happy. Mm -hmm. And if we are not happy, this the choir is uh, uh, very precise, like a. Um, like a, a, um, a very a strong uh, a army, but but mm -hmm. we we need to to be in a, a very joyful when they sing. Like this piece is a Mary. She are very happy because she she is pregnant uh, and and is not uh, um, is not sad and not angry. She is she is uh, happy, and uh, we need to do to be to have this. Uh, vision of the music okay. for, for this case sometimes we 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 are conductors and when we have a lot of technical complex movement we think oh i need to to invest a lot of time in this and this is correct but not only mm -hmm. okay um maybe uh we can try the beginning as well yeah the complete beginning yeah, the beginning. I'm sorry, I don't give uh, before any information. I decide to to use this uh, system is only mathematical uh, uh, solution to to arrive to the to arrive uh, in front uh, um, of the the face of, of Mary when she she said "Magnificat." My 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 soul is very happy, and um, we start from the soul from the deep part of the soul with the M and uh, and uh, one by one each different part cut a movement because we know we need to go to to domino mm -hmm. magnificat anima mea domino okay yeah okay
Thanks. Yeah. Once more. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good. Uh, you can decide to to um, to ask to the choir to sing very legato and uh, take breath and uh, don't cut, don't divide, or like now to decide to to divide in some point. Magnificat anima mea domino. You, you, it's your decision. I, I'm in this case. You you can you are free to you are. It's your decision. Okay. Um, I would say connects, yeah. Okay, once more beginning. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm so, sorry, I'm so, only one thing. Um, uh, in, our, in our job, we need to, to, to be careful about the power of the vowels. For example, in this moment, uh, this text give a lot of power to the A. Magnificat anima mm -hmm. mea. And there are some A very uh, with accent, magnificat, and some like uh, anima, but other is not with accent. Magnificat anima mea. Mm -hmm. And the color of the sound of the choir sometimes uh, open all the A ah, and normally we, we listen um, magnificat anima mea for this reason sometimes we need to control the dynamics of the not accented A ah. Magnificat anima, and not anima. It's not your. It's not your fault. It's, it's uh, uh, in, in the in the normal uh, power of the vowels. The the a uh, um, open our mouth and have a lot of harmonics overtones, and this sound is very big. We need to 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 know this and control to to have the, the same dynamics. Okay. It's the same also if you perform, for example, Ubi Caritas. Ubi Caritas et Amor. Mm -hmm. so the, the A of Caritas, Caritas, the last A, is, they, is, they have no the same power of the first because it's Caritas. Mm -hmm. But normally the, the choir sing Carita. And the second A have the same power of the first. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can we also do uh, from the beginning and do a little bit more of crescendo, just tiny bit more? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there is one spot still uh, which is unclear for me, um, and this is uh, bar eight and nine. Um, so uh, let's do like this: that we breathe before uh, uh, mea, before bar eight, and then connect mea do, 
and let's not yeah and the uh, R stays in the same. It's the just eight note, so let's not uh, prolong it. Okay, um, bar five. Can we take uh, just mea? Very good. Thank you so much. Very, very good. Uh, I, I think now uh, you, you need to, to, to look for a balance until the, the energy and the flexibility. Mm -hmm. uh, because now it's very, very, very beautiful. But I don't want to press you to, to lose your, your, your technique. It's, it's, uh, you need to, to, to look at um, a good balance. But now it's very good. And the sound of the choir, I think, uh, it's it's uh, it's good. It's it's very beautiful. And the first part, um, the only suggestion, uh, I th I think you can try. Now we have no time, but I, I think you can try to to sing without breath. They can sing. They can take in mm -hmm. different par part of the, of the first part the the, the movement. But uh, we can have only one one line. Um, like a very, um, it's a, in a like a, a slow motion, but of a normal magnificat anima mea dominum. Uh, and we, we, I, I wrote like a, a slow, uh, slow motion, but all, all the, the, the idea is to, to have a, only one movement. Mm -hmm. And if you sing with, if you conduct with with a choir, you can decide to ask to the to the singer to take a, a singular breath and uh, connect all the parts. 
And for the mayor, I suggest you to use like now one, two, three. Yeah. Don't jump, don't go down because if they look the second movement, they, they take uh, more time, they need mm -hmm. more time. It's better one, two, three, and go to dominant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thank you. Lorenzo, thank you very much also from our side for the wonderful uh, lessons with you. Hope to see you live again yeah. somewhere latest next, next year time. in Arezzo, but uh, next year perhaps in Arezzo, but perhaps earlier. It would be nice to meet you here, to have you here uh, to work with, uh, live in this room. Okay, have a nice evening. Bye bye to Italy. Buonasera. Bye bye, bye bye, Georg, bye -bye. and all the participants. Thank you so much.